has it gotten easier over the years to just kind of keep it pushing? Because there's always something, anytime you open up your mouth, it's uh, people are going to find a way to take it in a negative, Listen, you know. My father called me a stupid motherfucker and a dumb son of a bitch from the time I was a young boy. So I know how to handle bullshit, right? I know how to keep okay. it. I, I was trained in how to do that. So my whole point yeah. in, at this point is, is that I'm, I'm so glad that so many other black people are getting a chance to work and do their mm -hmm. shows and tell their stories because what happened is a lot of heat is li lifted off of me because everybody's not looking at me going, you should be doing this and you should be doing that. Now everybody has a chance. So the criticism yes. has, has subsided a great deal because of that. And I'm, mm -hmm. and I'm grateful for it. I'm glad everybody's getting their shot. So now they know what it feels like when somebody, I'll never forget this one uh, particular writer, director, actress person called me up and she was saying <laughs> she has gotten some bad reviews on something she had done. She's like, Tyler, how do you deal with it? I said, you're looking at the wrong thing. What do you mean how I deal with it? Look at the work that you've done and the people that it touched. Why are you focusing on yeah. the ones that, that don't matter? Or, yeah. or are you trying to get the attention from the other side? See, that's the thing. Mm. I've, never, I've never been a person that was like, Tyler, what are you going to do to cross over? You got to cross over, dude. I'm like, no, yeah. that, that, that line goes both ways. So I stayed, yes. the course. stayed the course. You've done so many films and, and so many TV shows. Um, what's the one failure or one that didn't perform the way you wanted it to? And if you could go back, what would you do to fix that? What's been your biggest disappointment out of all your projects? Hmm. For Color Girls? I know oh, that had to have okay. hurt. Yeah, no, what hurt about For Color Girls is having Intisaki Shenge to disparage it and talk about how bad it was and, and mm -hmm. have uh, the, 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 that whole For Color Girls uh, old guard be very much uh, like, mm -hmm. what, what the hell? But if I, if, I had to, if I had to do it again, I wouldn't because now I understand mm -hmm. Um, that what it meant to so many people and what I was trying to do wasn't necessarily a match. But for people who see it now, a younger generation who had never heard of For Color Girls, they get it and yeah. they love it. But yeah, I wish yeah. it I, I wish it had done better, but that, that's not necessarily all on me in the sense of the, the studio has to believe in it as well. So if yeah. they don't believe in it, then the budget is cut on how it's promoted. So yeah. that, that, that was a Tyler Perry 10 years ago. And this guy sitting here mm -hmm. is, is different in the way he would handle that whole situation. But yeah, yeah. not sure I'd do that again. Yeah. Well, it, it was something very me meaty to take on. It's very much akin to with Oprah Winfrey with Beloved. You know right. what I mean? It's just like one of those things that's so very personal for so many people. And, and, it, and people have a, a kind of visceral reaction when you right. say those, those beautiful works of art. And so... You know, touch, there's, touch yeah. yeah, I get it. Yeah, but you're right about that. I never would have thought about uh, for color girls because for me it was totally a learning lesson. But no, that's mm -hmm. you're right, right.